All right, we're back. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Little Guardsman Part 2. Uh, I love this game. I've established this. I literally just started recording this again after uh, Part 1. Like, immediately after. Well, not immediately after. I ate something, and then I did some things, and d yeah, but, uh, yeah. I left the game running, <laughs> so this is immediately after Part 1. All right, so let's just get into it. Let's see what day two awaits. I already know what day two awaits. But a note? A note. Dear Little, please come down to the guard shed as soon as you can. Love, Dad. Maybe he wants me to work a shift for him again. Or maybe he forgot to put on underwear and needs me to bring him a pair. <laughs> forgot about that part. Well, there's a 50-50 chance I'll get to use the chronometer 3000 today. Here's hoping. All right, here we go. And we go. And finally, the aforementioned grading pending review will be transferable to a more viable calculation, which is, needless to say, a more economical contrivance for evaluation. Any questions? Um, who are you? <laughs> Many questions. Exactly. Hey, Dad, I got your note. What's going on? I have no idea. Due to the bank of the sprawl being burned to the ground as a result of your actions, any guardsman who does what? not receive what? an above two-star rating at the end of any given shift will lose their job. Wait, 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 wait. So the bank was going to burn down no matter what I did with Mr. Goblin Abuser? What? <laughs> okay, that's that's new. I d d okay, well uh, now I feel better about my actions. Whether I deny him or approve him, he's just bad news. Good to know. Okay. But I need my job for gambling. <laughs> I. Uh. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't just hear that. Exactly. As somebody who works at a casino, you should not just use your money for gambling that you get from your job. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, you do you, but like, bruh. You and I both know my dad has a tendency to half-ass his way through life. Tell me why he needs to whole ass it all of a sudden and strive for anything above two stars. Why, I'm glad you asked. I've been authorized to award above average job performance with cash bonuses. Ooh, cash is good incentive. You mean if we get more four star results, we'll make more money? You're as yeah. quick as your father. Before I go, here are the allotted crystals to power your tools. And with that, I'm off to tell all the other gate guards about these new rules. Well, all of them except Randy. He's been terminated. Oh. Not Randy! That guy's a riot! Which is exactly what his poor judgment led to. Wish me luck. Okay. Oh, jeez. Randy was just three payments away from paying off his new catapult. Oh man, poor Randy. <laughs> Sounds like you need to start doing your job better. <laughs> More like you need to start doing my job better. Just like you wanted to. <laughs> no, that's not exactly what I meant. I, you don't just get to leave me here while you go bet on goblin ball games. No goblin ball match today. I received a cryptic letter this morning saying they need me on palace duty. And they specifically referenced that you need to cover for me again. I... What? Okay. I kind of skipped through this the first time because I wanted to go straight to the gameplay and play the second day. Now that I'm actually listening to it, this is pretty sus. <laughs> Looks like you're not the only one who wants you to work the gate today. Again, not what I meant. It's not all bad news. I scored these off-brand discount crystals from my bookie Fredo as a gift for Fredo? being his best client. Fredo? But he mentioned that they might only work some of the time. But I like those odds. OK. 
sure. Oh, Dad. I love you too, Lil. Oh. And with that, I'm off. Remember, two stars are better or we're out on our asses. Okay. No pressure. Absolutely not girl. pressure. What does the royal root say today? Malcolm, rather than repairing the dungeon, which is falling apart, leading to the escape of a serial arsonist, I'm having the jail cells painted instead. Give me a call when the fellow gets here. Um, I d what? You should repair the dungeon. They were right about Malcolm. He is pretty much chaos incarnate. Expect the imminent arrival of two envoys vying for the elite, vying for an alliance with the sprawl. That's two envoys. Not one, not three, but two. Four is right out. Take this opportunity for cultural exchange and learn as much as you can. Really get them talking. The Duchess of Scarborough's award-winning feline companion, companion Spring Sprinkles? Not Sprinkles, Sprinkles? Shall be arriving in its miniature royal carriage this week. As always, treat any non-human visitor, goblin, gnome, ogre, etc. with extra scrutiny. Remember, if you see something, say something. By royal decree. Okay. Alright, now I get to choose where I want the crystals to go. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a working crystal in the truth spray. We get this one. The x-ray should get... Oh, the decoder ring, I'm putting the iffy crystal on. Metal detector, I'm putting the good crystal. Truth spray gets the good crystal. X-ray gets the good crystal. And I'm putting an iffy one on the bullwhip. Okay. There we go. That's, that's my setup for this. Right now. I've got the three most useful items with fully functional crystals. And I've got the two iffy ones with iffy ones. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Day two. Hello, ma'am. The name is Seamus McGoblin. I've been requested to do some work in the sprawl. Just have my supplies here with me. Nothing else to declare. Nothing else to declare, huh? You have paint with you. Are you like an artist? Me? An artist? No, ma'am. I have a real job. I'm a painter. I paint things like walls and doors. An artist? <laughs> oh, you're giving me a laugh. I'm gonna doubt him on that. Are you sure you're actually a painter? Well, what do you figure all these paint cans are for? <laughs> and people say goblins are slow-witted. Well, I mean, they do say we should treat any uh, non-human. I'm gonna call Striker. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call the head of the Royal Guard because, like I said, I'm trying to do things differently this time so that I can have a little bit of a newer experience while I play this. Um, at least for the parts I've already played, which is also this part. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. I'm gonna talk to Stryker. Sounds on the up and up. People pass these gates for work every day. Okay, well, I mean, if the boss says it's fine. If you're gonna start calling me every time someone wants to go to work, we are gonna have a serious problem. Okay, I'm sorry. You have a brain? Use it. Okay. I'm gonna talk to you one more time just because I wanna see what you say. If I'm being honest, I'm not sure what I'm being asked to paint. A note was left at my shop late last night. You can have a look if you like. I've got some work for you to do. Come to the sprawl at half past two. There are two ways to paint your stuffs. One legit, the other in cuffs. The little girl will guide your way so that you can earn your portion of official sprawl currency. Signed, M. <laughs> Trust. Mysterious letters are way more common these days, and I have a feeling I'm the little girl they're talking about. 
I didn't want to say, but you are indeed a little girl. <laughs> For my age, accent. I'm not. I love the, I love the, what is it, Scottish accent? Scottish or Irish accent? They're so similar. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 12. I was right, she was 12. Hmm, you still seem pretty little. Admit. You're good to go, my goblin dude. Many thanks. Say, before I go, do you have a favorite color? Blue. I like blue, I guess. Then I shall paint whatever it is I'm painting blue in your honor. Thank <laughs> you again. I like blue. You correctly admitted him, but you didn't follow the writ and give Malcolm a heads up, so he didn't remove the violent criminals from the jail being painted. Oh, wait a second. Wait. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, so I'm gonna give- I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna rewind that, and I'm gonna call Malcolm this time. So that'll do better, I think. Okay. Five out of five custom time travels available. Okay. We're going, we're going to this guy. We're going again. Rewind, we're gonna do that again. I'm gonna do everything right, except this time I'm gonna call Malcolm. Hello, ma- Just have- Okay, so... You have paint with- mm? uh. Are you sh- Well- Well, it's about time- Okay, so I called Malcolm and I got the thing. If I'm being honest, I'm not sure- Mysterious letter. What? How? I'm. Hmm. All right. Admit. Many thanks. Okay, but wait. Blue. I like blue. I then I shall pick. Thank you again. All right. Let's see if that improved our score a little bit. Yeah, three stars now. You let him in to do his job. What do you want? A parade? <laughs> okay, better better than nothing. Hear ye, hear ye. I have come to announce to the princess a proposal of marriage from my lord and master, Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petra. Prince Phineas, son of King Phineas and Queen Buttermilk, Queen Buttermilk. <laughs> Who was daughter of King Fangil, son of Queen Amelia, daughter of King Rupert, son of... I get it. Thank you. Wow. Okay. I think I got it. Why are you giving me his picture? I don't understand. Why are you just giving me his picture? Okay, um... Let's talk to you. Prince Phineas himself will arrive in the sprawl after a ceremonial visit to the royal sulfur mines of Petrard. The prince will be christening the newest of our sulfuric refineries by smashing a bottle of Petrardian fizzy over the front door. Isn't that kind of dangerous? I mean, they're sulfur mines that shouldn't... What? <laughs> Why are you even mining sulfur in the first place? That's... That's a health hazard. Doubt. Won't that make a huge mess? I think Inevitably. There's, I think there's more... But it more is a tradition. A sticky, dangerous tradition. Dangerous tradition is right. What? <laughs> okay. Um, talk to you again. An alliance between the great kingdom of Petrad and the Sprawl would benefit both sides mightily. 
imagine. The petrol and gunpowder our sulfur mines produce, combined with the technological advancements that your power crystals provide, would create a union that would make our two kingdoms the envy of the world. Um, sure, dude. Uh, I'm gonna tease you about that. Those sulfur mines smell like farts. Does Prince Flinflon smell like farts? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I mean, his name is Phineas, Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrad, son of King Phineas and Queen Buttermilk, who we was know, daughter of King... Please, stop! My thoughts exactly, Lil, please. Alright, I guess we'll call Ash. Oh, they're starting to arrive. How wonderful. This is the representative of Prince Phineas Pomp, son of King Phineas and Queen... Buttermilk. None for me, thanks. Anyway, let them in. But for the love of... Don't let them in with that bugle. Not until I've gotten over this dreadful hangover, at least. Can I see that trumpet or whatever that you've got there? That is my official Petradian greeting bugle. It is my pride and joy, and worth quite a pretty penny. I will confiscate that. I think for the sanity, I mean safety, of our citizens, I better take that. Oh, if you must, but please be very careful with my pride and joy. All right, you could be let in, I guess. Admit you. <clears throat> Onward to announce the eventual arrival of Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrad and future husband to Princess Desdemona. Incidentally, I believe there is a representative of the Marvog Empire behind me seeking to make a similar offer for the hand of the princess. If you refuse her entry, I will give you much gold tonight. I will meet you at the tavern after your shift. Remember, do not let in the Marvog delegate. The Marvog delegate. Do not let them in. Hmm. I don't... Hmm. I mean, money? You fleeced a high-ranking visiting dignitary and took his bugle away. He was terrible, so that's basically a public service. Good job! Hi, hello. Good afternoon, child. I would like to enter this bustling metropolis with the desire to purchase a hat. I have lost my previous hat and I require a replacement. Um... Oh, okay. Why come all this way to buy a hat? Surely they have hats where you're from. They do, yes. But they do not match the standards of my previous hat. I was known well as one who adorned a hat of the highest caliber. I cannot go back. Maybe you haven't looked hard enough? I promise, child. I have searched high and low for the perfect hat. This sprawl is my last hope. Cheap spray on you. Actually, nah. We're gonna go with the x ray. Anything suspicious on you? On your person? You have a hat in your heart. The x ray took reveals a hat shaped hole in, in Senor Capello's heart. A hat shaped hole. When you lose something that has been a part of you, that has defined you for so long, it's like you're missing a piece of your very soul. That's pretty deep for someone talking about a hat. Um, okay. That was interesting. Um, uh, let's call 
ash. The only hatter I know in town is in the garment district. But be warned, he's quite mad. Not mad as crazy, hatter. just angry. I wouldn't send him there. Deny him, please. Well, you heard the lady, buddy. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to deny you entry. Because it's for your own safety. I'm denying you entry for your own safety, buddy. You are not welcome in this kingdom. Ah, then it is not to be. I was a fool to have thrown away such a fantastic hat. My life is now void of purpose. Okay, bye. Though, I suppose it was better to have worn a fantastic hat and to have thrown it away than to have never worn a fantastic hat at all. Okay, bye bye You have stood in the way of a quest to find the ultimate fantastic hat. Note to player, you may have just missed the opportunity to see some pretty funny hats. Do I want to rewind on this guy and let him back in? Just for the hats? Uh, nah, I don't want to waste a rewind right now. We'll just have to do without the hats for now. Maybe in another playthrough. <laughs> I come with a message for Princess Desdemona of the Sprawl from Praetor Cargan of the Marvag Empire. The Marvag Empire, hmm? The Praetor bid me say directly to the princess, Okay. Grant me access to deliver this message personally, and I shall recite the Praetor's words to the princess with honor. Hail, Praetor Gargan! Kapla! You remind me a lot of Lazel. <laughs> you remind me of uh, Lazel from uh, Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> okay, why are you giving me. Oh my god. Why are you giving me pictures of these people? I don't have that much room in my freaking sack here. Um. Fine, you know what? Uh, we're going to... Obviously I can't use the metal detector. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna talk to you a bit more. I killed 19 other mighty adversaries for the honor of delivering this message to your princess. Oh. Okay. I have brought you the head of the mightiest of these for you to inspect, as is our custom. Uh. Okay. Sure. Oh my god! Um, thank you for the gift? This is how you know I am worthy to deliver the words of the Praetor to your princess. You seem, uh, very violent. <laughs> I, okay, I have a head in a bag now. Great. Mm. Great. The Praetor is attending the ballet tonight. Upon its completion, Praetor Cargan will make for the sprawl. Oh, so the Praetor's coming here later tonight? Not likely. In Marvog, the ballet can last days, weeks even. It continues until only one dancer survives. Ballet. Ballet is one of the finest blood sports in the Marvog ballet Empire. Is a blood sport? And the bodies of fallen ballerinas are stacked high in the main square. As is our custom. Uh... I'm gonna tease you about that because ballet is not a blood sport. What a dumb custom. I mean, doesn't the giant pile of dead ballerinas stink up the joint? It is not dumb. It is a point of pride for the ballerinas to be added to the pile. Okay. And the stink is a constant reminder of the danger and sacrifice made by the noble winners of the Marvag Ballet. You see, the winner is put directly into the line of succession to rule. Praetor Cargan was one of the finest ballerinas I have ever witnessed. Okay. Slaughtered dozens of other would-be ballerinas with a grace and beauty that brought a tear to my eye. You're interesting to say the least. Um, I kind of want to use the bullwhip on her just to see what she does. She might try to kill me, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know if I should do this or not. I mean, I could always rewind. 
Should I make a dumb decision? I'm gonna make a dumb decision. Are you sure you want to challenge me to ceremonial combat? Uh... Nope. <laughs> Clever girl. <laughs> I love how immediately they're like, are you sure you want to do this? Um... Sure, let's just talk Sorry. to Sorry. What exactly was the message you had for Princess Desdemona again? Praetor Cargan crafted the message personally. A warrior poet. Hail Praetor Cargan! Yes, yes, hail Praetor Cargan, we know. The message is... Ektag maya kola una guahatag. Or in your language... It is marriage which will bring our two proud nations into a state of cooperation. That is the closest translation, even though it loses some of the beauty it has in our tongue. <laughs> you speak our language very well. Could you teach me something in Marvalgian? It's just Marvag. Not E or Rights or E's or anything like that. What would you like to learn? What do I want to learn? <gasps> Ooh, I can learn how to say fuck off. <laughs> uh, I want to learn. I want to learn a curse word. Haha! <laughs> there are many words for this, but typically we also use the phrase f off. Ha! <laughs> That's great! Cool! Cool. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, I'm still going to deny you because I want that extra money. So, uh, bye bye This is where I'm deviating from my initial run of this game because I approved her last time. You do not think me worthy to speak the Praetor's words to the princess? You have no honor, little one. You shall be known as an enemy to the Marvag. And Praetor Kargan will learn the disrespect you have shown me. Oh boy. Okay, bye bye You denied an extremely well-armed visiting dignitary and disobeyed a direct order. But on the other hand, the other envoy is going to sweeten the deal for you, so worth it? Hmm... You know what? I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> oh yeah, this Whoa, guy. Whoa there, Lucy. Hello and salutations to you, most honorable guardian of the free peoples of the Sprawl. I am the envoy of the gallant Sir Beverly, a knight of some minor renown, which is also me. I have received a very special invitation from Her Majesty Princess Desdemona as she turns her royal eye to finding a suitor. Hmm. If there's nothing else, I will be off to my happily ever after. Sure, buddy. That, uh, that horse looking a bit suspicious, though. Um, fruit spray time. I'm not the gallant Sir Beverly Knight of some minor renown. I'm just an envoy to plain Beverly, late night custodian of the Goblin Ball Stadium, which is actually me. I've been watching the princess launch the ceremonial first slingshot at Goblin Ball matches for years now. Our eyes locked during one such slingshotting, and she smiled. My heart has been hers ever since that day. Uh-oh. I just gave it away that I'm not a knight, didn't I? Kinda. Sure did. Just plain Beverly. Okay. Truth spray is done. What do you have to say after that? Have you ever met Princess Desdemona? <sighs> a lack of day, I have not. Tis but a glimpse of her I have yet beheld, but that image has drawn me here like a moth to a forest fire. Uh huh. And though it is true I have never known the caress of a lover, the thought of it fills my loins to bursting. I don't even want to know what fills your loins, buddy. But, uh... You do you, I guess. <laughs> it's not a real horse. Steady on, Lucy. I was only speaking metaphorically. Mm, doubt. How do you know she wants you to come and marry her if she's never met you before? In that glimpse of her, I could see she was longing for true love to come and save her from her world of loneliness. Yeah, I don't think that's how glimpses work. 
I'll talk to you one more time and then I'll deny you. Please let me in. I must see her and let her know how I feel before it is too late. Please? No. Couldn't you try writing to her or something? I have tried many times, but I don't know her address and I don't know how to write. You don't... What? You don't know how to write? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> oh my god. What? You don't know how to write. Oh, okay. Both of these, my two great shames, have stood in my way again and again. Okay. <clears throat> well, uh, you are clearly not fit to see the princess. Bye bye. I understand. You are being controlled by powerful forces and simply following orders. But know this. There is no force more powerful than love. I mean, that is true. That is true. You speak the truth there. But, uh... Buddy, I don't... I don't, I don't think it's gonna work out between you and the princess. I'm, I'm being real. <sighs> okay, bye bye you have not seen the last of Beverly, late night custodian of the Goblin Ball Stadium. On, Lucy. That is not a real horse, and you know it. That's two guys in a horse costume. You followed the writ to the letter and intuited that the third envoy was not legit. <laughs> <coughs> Up. Hey, kid, are you Lil? Who's asking? Show a bit of respect. If you see her, tell her I got a mysterious letter for her. Mysterious, you say? Fine, you've got me. Who's it from? I'm not authorized to know. That is mysterious. Does this mysterious letter have anything to do with the one my dad Hamish got this morning? Your dad is Hamish? What a good guy. Did you hear about Randy, though? Only three payments away on that catapult. <laughs> yeah, it's a real shame. Anyways, just take the note. I gotta get back to work. Okay. Oh boy, it's a Malcolm note, isn't it? And my bag is full. I would get 300. Thanks. See you around, kid. We'll keep a play. Alright, let's read this note. Little girl, little girl stands at a gate, making choices I can't wait. If you've got a taste of madness and wish to circumvent great sadness, come and meet me after dark. Together we make our stamp on the world. M. Dungeon 7, Room 4, Boulevard de Douleur. Okay. I love how he never finishes Nothing with Nothing weird or creepy about that. At all. Oh, Where's here we go. Where's music coming from? Here we go. What is happening? This is my favorite one. This is my favorite one. I love her. Good afternoon. I've traveled from afar A simple girl Who wished upon a star Inside this castle lies my fate Perhaps I'll even get a date <laughs> To my old life I sing au revoir And you are? It's Lil, and you need a good reason to be <laughs> let in But so far, I'm not optimistic yeah, Do you have any little, idea or anything? She's very sus, but I love her <laughs> <laughs> I assure you that my heart is true. Must this be a whole to do? Inside these walls, my destiny awaits. That suspicious red paint on you. Eh? Just feels like if you weren't <laughs> singing, we could move the plot along faster. I'm just so, so thrilled to finally be here in the sprawl. The people, the culture, the food, the hundreds of dark alleyways that could just swallow a person up. <laughs> uh, doubt. I have to say, I'm 
losing patience, Lil. At first you seemed so innocent, but still, I have a hunger driving me to people everywhere will see. My dark destiny I will fulfill. Dark destiny, hmm. Well, that took a dark turn. Metal detector time. What is that? Oh, that's just Fossey. What's a Fossey? Fossey is the name of my blowtorch. <laughs> blowtorch, you know. Just for, just for like baking, probably, I'm sure. I'm confiscating this. Friends shouldn't take things from one another. I guess we're not friends then. That makes me a little bit nervous for you, Lil. Okay, I've had about enough of you. Okay, but we're gonna talk to her one more time because I love this. Okay, we're talking okay. to her one more time. Now that we're real bosom friends, I guess I can open up to you. See? See, she's literally just like, I guess we're not good friends. And then immediately after, I guess that we're real bosom friends. Like, who, who trustworthy says bosom friends? Makes no sense. Anyways, this, this is my favorite. Are you ready? Here we go. Can you just tell me and not sing it? that it's all so true why I ventured here to you is that I am a thief and also I should claim that I likely bear the blame for forging checks and larceny for smuggling drugs and piracy for setting many fires and causing grief so Oh my god! Just because you're singing it doesn't make any of that remotely okay! <laughs> yeah, so, uh, she'll literally sing about all of her crimes, so of course we're going to deny her, but I, I love her, she's great. Deny, bye bye. Why? You, you were fine. I see now that you aren't my friend. My time here is about to end. You haven't seen the last of me. I really hope I haven't seen the last of you because you're funny. You're the worst. She is the worst, but she's also really funny and I love her. <laughs> we'll keep a bye. Despite the songbird sweet serenade, you correctly identified a homicidal maniac and managed to take away her toy. Good job. All right, that's it for the day. And this is right about where I left off in, um, in my, uh, in my initial playthrough. So after this, I don't know what's coming. Everything's gonna be blind. We're gonna finish out this day, and then once I get to the third day, I'm gonna pause this, and then I guess from there on, it's just, yeah. It's great. <laughs> All right, remember, three stars represent a good score in low guard. The four star result relies on superb deduction, the perfect loadout, a bit of luck, or some combination of all three things. The results screens like this one will guide you towards a three star result, but a four star is up to you. She's my favorite, I love her. Anyways, we're just gonna continue. No time to think back on our actions today. We're just gonna keep going. <laughs> I guess I go to the dungeons and I meet Malcolm, I'm assuming. 
<clears throat> yeah, this isn't a this isn't a ominous at all. Every castle needs a creepy dungeon, right? Every castle? Ideal for prisoners who only have one arm. <laughs> Having not seen a bathroom, you become horrified at the realization of what this bucket is for. Is there... Is that a thing I could look at? The grate on the floor? No? Okay. Alright, let's see what... Is uh... this the right place? Let's see what he wants. It is! I mean, um, enter if you dare. <coughs> Sorry about clearing my throat so much. Oh! They're all here. Oh, you dare. Hello! Welcome to my layer of chaos. <laughs> this looks like a layer of chaos based on uh, everything over here. Look, there's the bull whip that I use. He's got one, too. I wonder if his is powered by a crystal. <laughs> it looks like a bedroom. It is his damn bedroom. Okay. It can be two things. I'm a minimalist. So, this is the little guardsman we've been talking about. Wait, you are, right? Well, I am a child. And I am a guardsman. And my name is Lil. So, yes. <laughs> I can't imagine why I wouldn't be. Good news, little girl. You're going to be working the gate for the foreseeable future. I, what? What? That's not good news. Why me? I hardly have a grasp on what I'm doing, and I'm barely tall enough to see over the desk. I see. Then you're free to go. Keep it together, Mal. Listen, little girl, we have eyes and ears all over the city, but the gates have always been a blind spot for me. The point is, the safety and security of the sprawl must be preserved and protected, and you might be positioned to help maintain the balance. Do you understand our meaning? You're asking a literal child to make big boy decisions for you. Um, are you sure this is wise? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Going forward, we want you to enact our wishes and whims when deciding who should enter and not enter the sprawl. Understand? So... What if I refuse? You can't make me do anything I don't want to do. I'm 12 years old. <laughs> Damn it. You've got us there. <laughs> but how about we leave it up to chance? Guess which hand is holding the colored ball and we'll forget about the whole thing. You are a jester and a trickster, and I do not trust you. But I will play your game. But if you guess it correctly, you agree to do our bidding, no matter how nefarious or unreasonable. Sound like a deal? So, they're exploiting a 12-year-old. This is fantastic. I love this game. Do I even have a choice? Yes. You choose which hand. Not the brightest one, is she? I think you gave it to Stryker. His right hand. Pick his right hand, you can't go wrong when you pick right. Malcolm is left-handed, I think, so I'd pick his left hand. Oh, I thought it was like, they give you the option to... You know what, we're going Bill Cipher on this one. There's a Bill Cipher right there, left hand. Not oh, exactly. I'm sorry, that was the wrong choice. What you should have chosen was my foot. There's always a trick. But you said it would be in your hand. And what is the foot if not the hand of the leg? You lost fair and square. Okay, buddy. But... Oh, and don't worry about your father. We're each quite capable at finding ways to keep him busy, making sure you have to cover for him. See, 
I trusted these guys to guide me on my quest of being the best little guardsman I could be, but uh, now I'm not so sure. These guys seem pretty sketch. But you told me to let the wizard in, Ash. You told me to let the wizard in. And I did. But now there's unrest between magicians and people and like ordinary people, so I don't know about you. You seem suspicious to me. All right, but anyways, I don't trust you. Anyways, okay, but. That concludes this briefing. We suggest you go back home, rest, and wake up tomorrow prepared to go to your new mundane job, which you will work at for the foreseeable future. Exploiting a 12-year-old, everybody. <laughs> exploiting a 12-year-old. It's called being an adult. It's called exploiting a 12-year-old. <laughs> Keep an eye out for our directives in your daily guardsman writ. I trust you won't disappoint us. Um, Goodbye! Sure. They're okay. Hi, Malcolm. Why did you turn off the light? She obviously knows we're still here. <laughs> she wouldn't have known that if you didn't start talking. I should have brought another drink. <laughs> That's a mood. Another drink is a mood. Uh, here, you guys want a head? Oh, I could sell them? Wait. <gasps> I could sell the items? We're gonna we're gonna just leave. So that's what the items are for. I can sell them and make money off of them. What happened to Mr. Capitalism? Can I sell my things to Mr. Capitalism? Garby bunches. Bunches of garbage. <laughs> Boy, what a day. Hey, Arda, pour me a cold one, will ya? Make that too, Arda. Hey, wait a minute. You're too young to be drinking cold ones. Make hers a milk, please, Art. Can it at least be cold? That depends. How did work go today? Did better than a two-star rating, I can tell you that. How was... What were you doing again? The bidding of the three royal advisors. Do you think it's normal that the big names and faces of this city are using us for their own personal and political gain? That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, but like, they're a bit sus. After today, I don't know what's normal anymore. Okay, so, um, can I go to the store? Can I sell my things? <gasps> Hello! You give me my money? <laughs> There she is, the brilliant little half-pint running the desk. That's me. I trust you refused entry to the envoy from the Marvog Empire like we talked about? Yep. If you did, I have the gold I promised you right here. Yes, please. I kissed them out. Yep, I sure did. Kick their ass back to Marvog. <laughs> Incredible bravery in the face of a brutal murderer. <laughs> Oh, you know, all in a day's work. What kind of gold are we talking about here? I have here 20 pieces of gold. Fair is fair. Take them. Ooh, they are go. yours and with many thanks from Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrad, son of King Phineas yes, and Queen we know, Butter. we know. Just the gold, thank you. Oh, yes. Here you are. <laughs> yes, quite. <laughs> Can I... Can I, can I leave? Can, can I leave and sell things? Can I go do a sell? To Mr. Garby Bunch, Garby Bunches! Well, you came. Garby Bunches, what's up buddy? He's got an ocarina. ocarina Welcome to Garby time. Bunches and Thorium of Wonder. You're my very first yeah. customer. Oh, these fun little things he's got. Be supportive. I was actually inspired by watching you alternately help and hinder folks at the gate yesterday. And I thought, 
Garby, there must be an industry of enterprising individuals supporting the guards. And when I looked around, there wasn't. So I met a mage who's got a magic crystal hookup. And now I'm selling guardsman tool power-ups. Ooh, okay, okay. If you've got the cash, I can sell you extra power crystals. Both the good kind and the cheap roll the dice and see what happens kind. As well as power-ups for all of your tools. Let's go. It's pricey, but the more crystals you can load into those bad boys, the better. I like power-ups. I like, I like power-ups. Power-ups are Finally, good. Finally, if you need cash, you can sell me anything you might have taken off of unsuspecting suckers. Here, take a look. Oh my god, I'm selling all of this right now because I just... Yeah, I need the money to buy things. I'm gonna sell all of that. I have $124 to use. So... We're going to buy two of these, and we're going to power up one of these. I think we're going to power up the Truth Spray. Because the Truth Spray is very helpful. We're going to power up the Truth Spray, and we're going to do an additional power crystal spot. spot. Wow, I can speak. Permanent upgrade. I've got $14 left, so I'm gonna buy one of these and call it a day. Okay. Thank you, Garby. That is so useful. Wait, what? What's this? That cannot be saved. Lou could fall into the sewers if she could walk that part of the screen. She can't. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. Smell coming out of the dumpster is indescribable. Okay. Yeah, we're going back inside. Alright, well that was fun. Um, oh, maybe eventually I could fix this. It's broken. If you can find someone to fix it, be my guest. I gotta find someone to fix it? Okay, maybe later in the game. Um, Alright, I think that's it for now. I'm gonna head to bed in the game, and not real life. <laughs> it's like it's like a quarter to two a.m. as I'm recording this, but I mean I'm a night owl anyway. I work overnights, so this isn't really anything new for me. Um, but yeah, uh, I love this game, as you can tell, um, and there will be more. And from this point onward, everything that's happening, we're all going in blind. Because I've only played up until, like, the end of the guard shift for the second day. And then I was like, you know what? I'm saving this for the channel. So, everything from this point on, blind decision making. This is going to be fun. <laughs> All right. Um, so, we're going to just do this. We're going to come over here. All right. So, that's it for this one. Um, fun times ahead, I'm sure. We're going to meet a lot of more crazy characters, I am certain. I haven't watched any playthroughs of this past day two, so uh, I, don't, I don't know what's coming. Nobody knows what's coming. Uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. Uh, let's go. <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye-bye.